We are a coastal province, so our people rely so much on agriculture and the marine environment. The main livelihood in southern Leyte is fishing. A lot of them around this area often use fishing techniques that harm the coral reefs. That they actually wouldn't have the abundance and the species of fish without the corals. The food security now is really at risk, so protection and conservation should be the priority for every government. Coral Cay has been here since about 2002. Um, and our aim is to provide sustainable livelihoods uh, for the local population. And the Philippines has been remarkably successful. I believe it has uh, the most MPOEs of any country in the world. Coral Cay is engaged in research and then, of course, community outreach programs, educating people and marine conservation. Not only marine, but uh, other conservation programs also. So Coral Cay helps um, a lot of the uh, barangays, which are local villages, to set up MPAs within their area. And we do that by conducting MPA surveys with the use of the volunteers. Working with the barangays to establish the MPAs is a really important facet of what we do. After the volunteers had transcribed the data, we then would present the data to the village people. That is the skills the local government and the barangay doesn't have, which Coral Cay has. And it's a very, very big help for the municipality and the province. Coral Cay run an initiative uh, which they call the Counterpart Scheme. And on the scheme, it's basically a scholarship program which allows for um, people in the Philippines, uh, particularly Philippine nationals, um, to come to uh, the base of Coral Cay and learn about the marine environment. I definitely recommend like other Filipinos to try out and try and apply to be a scholar for Coral Cay. I joined the expedition uh, for a month. There I had my license, my paddy license, um, open water. And, and then after that, I went to the science week. So I learned my algae. I learned my hard corals, my soft corals. In this training, we can learn so much of our marine um, diversity, of the marine life. If we look back to the start of the program in 2002, we now have ex-scholars that are in important positions in provincial government. Um, one, Grace Quinton, has set up her own NGO. We've learned that there are already so many counterparts in the Philippines, in our province actually, doing the expedition, the reef conservation um, scholarship. And um, it's really important because, well, Coral Cay will not be here forever, I, I don't think. It, so it's significant for the locals to know what they are, what they should be doing. Um, even with or without Coral Cay, because this is our place, this is our home, and we should, we should know how to take care of our home, we should know how to take care of our environment.
Uh, there were a lot of activities being done by Coral Cay before, other than uh, the mapping. Uh, they have some sort of program with the Department of Education, the uh, children. Education work that Coral Cay does is, is for everyone. Education officer goes to the school, teach the kids about the benefits and what is about marine protected areas. Something changed from them from uh, before because before Corus was only a stone with no life. I love it when we when I teach that because then they understand they understand that oh there's actually a link between the corals and the rest of those animals. Uh, it's like a little light bulb and I hope that that, that light bulb will, will continue and actually go into the action that they have and the respect that they have for their coral reefs. Personally I would say I'm very glad that Coral K is here uh, making people aware about conservation and knowing the potentials of So Good Bay. Punta village people and the barangay officials came to Coral Cay one day and then asked for our help if we could re-establish their marine reserve. The first step was a consultation and a survey. We can send in our volunteers at the site and locate the best suitable place for an MPA. Today we've, we have uh, four students from Barangay Punta and they're coming today to do a program called Reef Monitors. Uh, Reef Monitors is a training program designed for local Filipinos for them to learn about animals underneath the sea uh, but then also to use that information to do a small food survey uh, for them to actually participate in their marine protected area in Punta. They have made an impact to the local people. There's no um, group of volunteers in the province of Southern Lake um, doing the same work as Coral Cay is doing. 